upon a time, there was a little mouse who lived in the town. He found a photo of his friend from the countryside. So he decided to pay him a visit and surprise him. Ugh, this place smells so disgusting. It's smelling of dirty farm animals. I shall find my friend's house soon. Hi, my dear friend. How are you? I'm all good. I thought of surprising you. What a surprise. Welcome to the country, my dear friend. I am so glad that you came all the way from the city to visit me. The friend started talking for a while. You had such a long journey. You must be tired now. Why don't you go freshen up? Meanwhile, I shall prepare something for you. The country mouse heads towards the farm. Town mouse was freshening up. All right then, let me go and dig some fresh vegetables. Meanwhile, the town mouse finished all the water while freshening up. Ugh, oh, there's so little water. My city is so much better. The town mouse comes out, all irritated. Come, we will eat outside. I have everything ready for you. The country mouse serves sweet potatoes, fresh beetroots and turnips, and fresh milk. Why don't you have a seat? The country mouse serves the town mouse. Is that what you eat in the country? Bland food, just so tasteless. The country mouse tried hard to impress his friend, but he did not succeed. After the food, the country mouse decides to show the farm to the town mouse. Ah, the air is so fresh. I can even smell the scent of those flowers. What's this green stuff? Those are some fresh peas. Then they come across a wet compost. Ugh, this smells so dirty. My town is so clean. Honestly, my dear friend, I don't like the way you live eating this kind of food. Surrounded by insects and with all this dirt? Come to my town. You will forget all this. I'm sorry for the food, but there's nothing wrong with my food. Everything is so fresh here. I would like you to come with me to the city for a few days to show you my way of life. I will make you eat cheese, pasta, nuts, and whatnot. That sounds awesome! <laughs> I am sure you will be delighted. <laughs> The town mouse started packing his bag and leaving. It is time for me to leave. Thank you. I had a great time. See you in town soon. The mice hug each other and wave goodbye. A few days later, the country mouse began to pack his bag to visit the city mouse. What tall buildings, shiny cars, and what delicious meals I will have. I'm just in love with the city. Oh, what a loud noise! He finally reaches the city mouse's house. Welcome, welcome, dear friend. Welcome to my house. The town mouse took the country mouse inside the house. They spoke for a while. When the table was laid by the servants in the house, the town mouse smelt it and said, Ah, oh, come on, my friend. The food is ready. Let's go. The country mouse was very excited to eat that food. 
Help yourself, friend. There's cheese, milk, pasta, toast, peanut butter, cake, and fruits. Thanks. I am really impressed with your lifestyle. I think I will stay here with you. As soon as he began eating, the servant came back. He got a stick to shoo them away. You filthy little creatures! Here! Here! Go away! Come, run! Let's hide! The town mouse was very embarrassed. <laughs> Don't worry, friend. We will eat as soon as he is gone. They decided to go out for a walk until the table was clear. Come, I'll show you a place where you get all types of food. What? What is that? The famous department store. They saw a cat on the way who was Run. running at full Run. speed towards them. Hurry up! Hide! Whoa! Whoa! What was that? My heart is pounding so fast! A big fat cat, and she will go in a minute. Just stay quiet. After the cat went, they entered the department store. The country mouse saw something strange looking. What is that? Be careful! It's a mouse trap! What is a mouse trap? Well, I don't know how to explain it to you, but the minute you try to grab the cheese inside, you get stuck and you can never come out. I think I am having a heart attack. This is too much for me. Well, don't exaggerate now. Just be cautious. Well, I have had enough of all this running and jumping and feeling frightened and scared. This is not what I came here for. But I have decided to go back to my home it's so peaceful there. I'm so sorry for all this. I prefer to go and eat fresh food in my garden than the fancy food in fear all the time. It's better to live simple than to run all over all the luxuries of life. So the little country mouse went back home and stayed there for the rest of his life.